I just found an article online about a list of things you should not do when you visit Germany. As someone who lived here for years and also make content about living in Germany for some Germans to see, I think I kind of qualify to talk about it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna go over this list and give you guys some of my perspective about it. Let's go! <laughs> First of all, I did not see this thing on the list, but from my personal experience, I just want to tell you, no matter what you do, do not put ice on beer in Germany. And you might say, Yuan, what kind of monster even put ice on beer anyway? Well, a lot of Southeast Asian countries do that, including my country, Vietnam. When a German sees me putting ice on beer, they act as if I was insulting their ancestor or something. Their reason is that when you water down the beer with ice, the beer loses all of the flavor. So you should just put the whole bottle of beer into the fridge to keep it cool like that. And the thing is, there is a very good explanation to why us Vietnamese do this. In order to cool a beer down with a fridge, you need to have a fridge. And our country did not have like widely access to electricity until like recently. My village did not have electricity until 1995 and my family did not have a fridge until 2007. Therefore, before that time, in order to get ice, we have to travel out of the village to a convenience store to get ice. And ice were expensive, so you have like a tiny block of ice like this. And the only solution to have a cold drink is that you crack a piece of ice and put it into the drink. Now almost everybody has a fridge in Vietnam, but I think old habit dies hard. Is that the right saying? Another reason is that Vietnam is very hot. So if you put a beer on the fridge and when you take it out, it's gonna take the beer 5-10 minutes to lose its coolness. <laughs> so if you want to like or keep having fresh and cool beer, you have to keep adding the ice. That's the thing. See, we have a reason for that. In Germany, it's different. They had electricity and the fridge long time ago. The weather is kind of cool, so that was never a problem for them. I kind of noticed that Germans are not very churchy or materialistic toward like cars or like clothing. You can wear or do whatever you want and nobody judge you for that. But they judge you hard when it comes to beer choice. They're very proud of their beer, their German beer. And it's like something kind of sacred and they want to drink it the right way and they want people to treat it with respect. Yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, do not put ice in beer over here. Don't throw away bottles. Ooh. That's good. That's a good advice. Over here in Germany, uh, when you buy a bottle, you have to pay 25 cent deposit. So that after you drink it, you give it back at the supermarket and you get back your deposit. It is a wonderful system and I love it. I love it. Like uh, when you buy all of the bottles, uh, I always feel so guilty even in Vietnam, because when I throw the bottle away, I don't know where they end up with. But in Germany, they have a system to get back like, I think 90% or higher than that of all of the plastic bottle. Yeah, keep your bottle, put it back to the supermarket, or you can put it next to a, a rubbish bin so that uh, people who in need of money could collect it and then they get some money out of it. Don't be late. This is a very stereotypical thing about German people and it's completely true. I have nothing else to say about it. They like to be on time and they want you to be respectful to what they time to. So just be on time. You might say that being on time is something everybody should do anyway. But like, for example, for my culture in Vietnam, people are not on time that often and people are not really like upset when you're late because they're kind of expecting that. So like if you're late for 5, 10, 20 minutes, it's kind of like expected already. So that's why it's not like globally, okay? But in Germany, no, 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 no. Either you're early or you are on time. Don't be late. The next thing is pretty interesting. Don't enter a home wearing shoes. Oh, and I love it because in Vietnam, people never ever wearing shoes in the house. Um, over here, it's kind of the same. When you arrive into like a German house, take off your shoe and then walk with basically your normally your socks. I like it. It's just like in my country, it's kind of similar cultural. It keeps the house clean. Everybody's happy. Don't speak English and expect no one to understand. Okay, this hits home to me. <laughs> when I sit in a public transport in Germany, people speak German. And at the beginning, I don't understand it, right? So for me, it's just like, why not? It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. so when I speak English with German boyfriend, 
I thought people would feel like it's why nice to them too because I speak a foreign language. So sometimes I just say like things I don't really mind people would listen to me because I don't think they would understand me. I don't know why I think that, okay? Just weird brain thought. The thing is, I think most Germans can understand English very well. So probably they hear everything I said there. <laughs> But yeah, um, Germans speak very good English. That is very wonderful. And they speak it with like barely any accent. Don't believe those like Hollywood actor who always pretend to be German and was like, hello, guten tag, ich bin. No, 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 they don't have any accent. They sound eloquent and uh, oh, they're also very humble about that too. Don't smile and talk to strangers. Yes. <laughs> Do not spy with strangers. They would think you're crazy. <laughs> People over here, okay, the their default face in public are like this, which is okay. But if you smile at them, they would be like, "What's going on? Why are you smiling? You crazy?" <laughs> they don't like to be talked to in public. If you approach them to ask for direction, they would willingly help you for sure because they're actually very kind and helpful. But if you just want to have like a small talk, sometimes it works, especially with old people. They love talking to people. But I just noticed that not every country are like that because one day me and my boyfriend were sitting on the train in Germany and there were an American couple sitting next to us like in front of us actually and they sat down and they were like hi how are you uh blah, 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 talking to us like we are friends and i love the conversation i talked to them and i was like this is what happened in america people just sit down and they just talk to the people next to you i love it and i saw so many people saying things like yeah but they are fake like they just pretend to talk to you but they don't care about you bro like at least i have someone to talk to it's not like it's easy to be friends with a German anyway, so I'm not complaining. Get on public transport without a ticket. It's pretty funny because if you visit Vietnam, I would never give you this advice since you cannot get into any public transport without a ticket. There would be someone standing at the door checking your ticket. But in Germany, it's like it's based on a trust system. So the public transport is open for everybody. You just get in, nobody takes your ticket. And they kind of like trust you that you have the ticket. And because Germans are really honest, so the system works very well. But of course, there are still people abusing the system. So uh, sometimes they would have like people uh, to come and randomly check the whole train or tram to see if everybody has a ticket. But it doesn't happen that often. But still, do not do that because if they caught you, you're gonna pay a minimum price of 60 euros. Also, you're gonna be very embarrassed in public. But I have to say, sometimes it's not the fault of the traveler, it's the fault of the German. German public transport system. The system is so confusing. Like if you want to buy a ticket, there are different zones, there are different lines. Like, like go to this place, but then go to this place. I live here for four years. I didn't understand the system. My boyfriend always had to buy me tickets every time I go because I was too afraid of like buying the wrong ticket. And at the end, they find me. So yeah, it's sometimes it's just not our fault, okay? Do not jaywalk. Which is kind of true. In Vietnam where I come from, there are traffic lights too, but uh, not many people follow it. So even when it's a green light for walking people, the car and the bikes keep driving. So um, when I moved to Germany, I have to learn to stop at a red light to walk when it's a green light. And the thing is, people respect rules over here and they don't like it when people publicly disrespect it. So if you like crossing the street in red light, get ready to be yelled at bike or a lot of German on the street. Especially when a child is standing next to you, people will be even more grumpy because you are setting a bad example for the child. You probably see some of the memes about Germans just standing there in the middle of the night in a completely empty street waiting for the red light so they can cross the street. It's kind of true. I did that a lot with my boyfriend. He didn't let me cross if it's not green light at all. So yeah, don't do it. Don't address strangers with their first names. This is probably for, uh, I don't know, Southeast Asia and Asia as well. Um, because like in my culture, people address each other by the first name. Because like 50% of us have the same last name, Nguyen already. So that's why uh, if everybody is Nguyen Nguyen is hard, we address each other by the first name. Over here, they address each other by their last name. And also they have two pronouns to address the person that you talk to. One is Z and one is Du. Z is like for formal, 
when you first met or like on business setting or do is like more casual and um, that is very important for you to learn when you speak German there is some kind of like formality for sure when it comes to like uh, talking to people you don't know well so yeah don't walk in bicycle lanes um, before you come to Germany if your country don't really have bicycle lanes maybe learn what is bicycle lanes look like it uh, on the street it's normally look a bit red and then there is a bicycle sign so sometimes it's a bit blending with like the walking lane so you should learn how to like uh, tell them apart in Vietnam we don't really have bicycle lane so when I came here at first I couldn't really tell where is the bicycle lane and I accidentally walk on bicycle lanes a lot <laughs> The thing is bikers over here, they are kind of scary, okay? They don't stop, they own the street. They just drive like this very fast. If you are standing on their lane, they're gonna curse on you, they're gonna drive on you, they're gonna kill you, okay? So uh, yeah, learn about it, stay away from them. Um, they are scarier than the cars over here. Don't disrespect quiet hours. Yep, that's true. Uh, this country has uh, a lot of quiet hours though. <laughs> like after 10 p.m. until the morning you're supposed to be completely quiet then on Sunday it's also quiet time there are some places you have to be quiet during noon as well so basically just be quiet all the time sometimes when you're with a group of friends and you get too excited in public that's not very good as well I mean I appreciate that because the public space is very quiet but at the same time I just miss the excitement of crazy fast pace uh, with a lot of like noise life for young people also people get really mad when you are being noisy at the hour that you're not supposed to be they call the police straight away you have friends coming over and the police would come and say like you guys are too noisy it's 11 this is your first warning things like that um so yeah be silent don't expect credit cards to be accepted everywhere it's true though always bring cash with you when you travel to germany you never know it's like 50 50 chance some places take card some places don't Cash is still king over here. I don't really have problem. I always have cash with me just in case uh, I have to pay it somewhere in the restaurant. And uh, it works. Next thing, do not forget to tip. Although you heard that in Germany and in Europe in general, people don't tip that much, but it's still like kind of expected that you tip somewhere between 5% and 10% of your bill in Germany especially in a restaurant if you do sell service or like uh, in supermarket and things like that it's not that common but in restaurant yeah they do tip and uh, at first it was very confusing to me because we don't tip at all in Vietnam <laughs> don't photograph people in public yep Germany is very strict about it they are all about privacy that is why German boyfriend doesn't even show his face on my channel. As far as I understand, in America, once you are standing in a public space, people have the right to like take pictures and film you. But over here in Germany, it's not working like that. Even when you are in a public space, you are entitled to have a privacy and people cannot take picture of you and put it on the internet. The rules is a bit complicated and I'm not a lawyer. So I'm just telling you guys what I understand because I make a lot of like video so I have to learn about this a lot If you want to take a picture of a crowd where nobody like one person is on the focus, it's kind of okay um, But if you want to take like a picture of a person standing there in public mm -mm, No, 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 no video filming is the same if a person is on the focus of the video that is a no-go too. Even when you blur their face, if they have like tattoo or like distinguished body shape and clothes that can be recognizable, that is not good enough. I saw so many videos on the net about Germans getting angry because someone is like filming a building and that person walked by and that person is like, you are filming me and my face. I mean, I kind of understand that it's privacy for them, but like sometimes we're not even trying to capture you, we're just trying to capture the building. But yeah, to some extent, they could be like kind of extreme, so be careful. 
I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this on my channel, but a lot of people like to drink beer over here, but you barely see drunk people in public in Germany. They have very, very well control of their alcohol consumption. So even though they are drinking beer in public, they are not like getting drunk and going crazy and disturb people over here, which I respect it. So if you come here, traveling and things like that, enjoy the beer, but don't be drunk in public. Don't flip the bird. I don't know this uh, word in English, but I think you know what I mean, like the middle finger. Don't flip the middle finger or even like uh, insult someone with words over here. Years ago on a short video, I did that like a character who flipped a, like a middle finger and all Germans were super shocked under the comment section like, oh, you don't do that? Like that is so disrespectful. But like in Vietnam and also like I saw a lot in America, like pop culture that I learned, that it's just a normal thing. Even for friends, we do that, just like messing with each other. But over here, it is like a very disrespectful gesture. So don't do that. Don't go around waving German flags. That is very true. Over here, if you see someone walking around with a German flag and they don't look like a football fan, people would try to like stay away from that person. <laughs> In Vietnam, for example, every month we have a, another reason to hang the flag. In America, it's crazy, right? They have flag on everywhere, literally. But in Germany, because of the history, people have learned to like uh, extreme nationalism doesn't lead to like good history. So they try to like tone it down. They don't really express their love for the country that way. And they see people who do that, like having the flag in their house, or if they hang the flag in their house, or they hang the flag in the store, or they like walking around with the flag, they see it as someone who's very like radical. Is that the right word? Like very extreme. And uh, they wouldn't like it. So yeah, do not do that over here. <laughs> don't stare at naked people. Hmm. I think this advice is written for me because the thing is, of course, I don't want to like stare at naked people over here, but it is such a like a weird thing in my mind still. So I, I don't know how to behave in that situation. People over here, they like to be naked a lot and um, it's a normal thing. So just don't stare at them. Don't be awkward. Don't be shocked. Don't have like, uh, I don't know, blushes or anything. Or if you get too awkward, just don't enter those naked area because although they like to be naked, they are getting naked in naked area. So there would be like naked beach, naked river, naked forest. Just kindly get out of that place and your eyes will be okay. Don't wish someone a happy birthday before their birthday. This is a very important rule, you guys. Do not do it because they consider it unlucky over here. So you either wish them happy birthday on their birthday or later than that. In Vietnam, we really don't have something like that. So we celebrate birthday when it's convenient to us, maybe a week in advance or something like that. But in Germany, either you celebrate birthday on that day or days later. And I didn't know about that. So I was wishing German boyfriend earlier and he was like freaking out. So yeah, try to uh, keep it in your mouth until it's the right time. The next thing on the list is do not show the Nazi salute. I mean, it's true, but the thing is, if someone asks me like, I'm going to Germany soon, what is the thing that I shouldn't do? The Nazi salute thing is not gonna cross my mind because for me, it's such a common thing. Like, I don't even think about going to Germany and do that. That is like <laughs> so clear that you shouldn't do that already. I live here for four years and I have never seen anyone do that over here. It's literally illegal for you to like do the salute or like properly writing the Nazi size illegal too. I saw some people giving advice on the internet that when you talk to a German, just don't bring up Nazi or Hitler at all because it makes the German very uncomfortable. Um, I don't really completely agree with that because although it is a very like hard topic to talk about. Most German I know are very educated about that topic because they were taught about that at school. They learn about that by themselves. They know what uh, their country did wrong and they try to not repeat the mistake ever again. Also, don't make any Nazi and Hitler joke. Okay, that was a very long list. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and uh, let me know in the comment section if there's anything that people shouldn't do when they visit Germany and maybe I will review it on the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.